we are here for a good time not a long time okay 30 vital things that i've learned at age 30 let's go finding something to invest in could help you go a long way building generational wealth and breaking generational curses quality friendships do not involve any type of competition which would then lead to jealousy being different is oh okay not fitting in or being considered different is perfectly okay i used to think something was wrong with me because people would always say oh you're quiet you real quiet like you know most of the people you be around don't be this quiet how you are i realized that i'm just not one of those people who immediately completely opens up to people that i do not know and i'm perfectly fine now with the fact that i allow myself time to let you in because you in fact have to have a wristband to get in being considered a pretty girl is not all that is cracked up to be i feel as though a lot of the times you are looked at is more of like an object or something pretty to look at versus an actual person with feelings prime example people usually don't mean any harm when they say it but i really don't like when people say like if i was to say oh i went through this this and that and they say oh you don't deserve that like you're way too pretty for that in the back of my mind i'm kind of just like what does that even mean like what about the fact that i'm an actual person with feelings like forget forget being pretty let's put that to the side like what about the fact that i'm an actual human being with real feelings quality will be quantity any day any day i used to be one of those people that fantasize about being a part of this huge friend group i used to just want all the friends but then I realized that it's very seldom that you have friend groups that are large that do not keep a lot of drama. I'm, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just going off what I have seen. Doing and trying new things might be easier said than done, but it's often not as hard as we make it. Half the battle is just starting. I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. A high level of codependency is usually a trauma response. It's never good to depend on any and or everyone else for everything. Some of y'all might be ready to tussle, but I'm going to just say it. Every relationship is transactional. Everything is give and take. So you are in fact being manipulated or have been manipulated if you have ever been made to feel as though you give or you help or you do for somebody and then when you realize that you're not receiving anything from them it's a problem that is manipulation everything is give and take nothing should ever feel or be one-sided um i know that a lot of this generation likes to come out and say I think it's kind of strange how y'all can go and sit down and eat at a restaurant by yourself or go to the movies by yourself or go to the mall by yourself. Like, I have to have somebody with me. Uh, I don't see what's strange about that. Number one, I'm, I'm simply not going to keep trying to make my schedule align with other people's schedule. When I want to go do something, I want to go do something. If I can't be my own friend and enjoy my own company, like, how am I going to be a friend to somebody else? I'm sorry, but when I'm by myself, sometimes I be, I be having a blast. Taking breaks are vital, whether it be from work, whether it be from people, whether it be from social media. You need a break. Treat yourself and give yourself time to recharge. The small wins deserve a celebration and recognition too. If you're one of those people that only look at and celebrate the huge or the big goals, you're never going to feel accomplished and you will probably not feel like you're getting anywhere. Women who don't know how to decenter men cannot be trusted. I said what I said.
Having a hobby is something you should try if you don't have one. Everybody should have at least one thing that they do just because they enjoy doing it. Trusting your intuition is very important because I have learned a lot of hard lessons by not trusting my intuition and then I would beat myself up afterwards. But don't be scared of the self-help books and podcasts. Also, I found that there's a lot of self-help uh, content creators as well and I can definitely leave some in the description box if you are interested but all of those things can help you to improve your relationship with yourself. Focusing on the smaller things or doing one little task at a time really helps if you're one of those people to get stressed out thinking about all of the things you have to do or thinking about how big of what goals you have one thing at a time will definitely help so yeah especially if you are a procrastinator definitely speaking to myself on this one and speaking from experience comparison is the thief of joy literally you enjoy your journey less when you're looking over there to the right and looking over here to the left and you're saying well this person did this in this amount of time and that person Listen, when it's your time, it's your time. But comparing yourself will have you feeling discouraged every single time. Stop slacking on your outer appearance. Just because you don't feel like it, it does not matter. Working on your outside appearance is just as important as working on your inside. When you look good, you feel good. Do not be intimidated by people who you feel like are doing better than you in life. You should be surrounding yourself with people that are on your level or above you. Protect your energy at all costs and do not let outside people tell you that you are taking something too serious or something is not that serious. If it don't sit right and it don't flow, let it go. Remove yourself whatever you need to do. I think a lot of people need to hear this one. Love your loved ones in their love language, not yours. Love them in their love language and not how you want to do it. If your love language is acts of service, they're not going to be able to appreciate it if all you're doing is um, purchasing them gifts and expensive things. That's not what they asked for. Therefore, they can't fully appreciate your effort. Be mindful if you are one of those people like myself who kind of want to help people that might have a low self-esteem or low self-worth or not know their self-worth. I sense that with a lot of people that have low self-esteem, um, usually sooner or later, there ends up being some type of jealous spirit. So sometimes what may feel like a missed opportunity or a no is not a bad thing. Sometimes it feels bad, but it's just a not yet or it's actually a it's not your time or it's usually a I have better for you. Who child? People pleasing is an exhausting and heavy job that I just quit recently. There is absolutely no reason that you should be around people who you might feel like you can't speak up to, say how you feel, or if I say this out of love, they're still going to take it the wrong way. None of that. People pleasing is very mentally and emotionally heavy and exhausting. We are here for a good time, not a long time. Make sure that you're making memories with your loved ones. Make sure that you are showing them that you appreciate them. And also let your hair down. Don't feel bad for treating yourself because I'm one of those people that since I became a mom, sometimes I would feel guilty for treating myself. And that is insanity. Another thing that might be easier said than done, but I mean, we here for a good time, not a long time. Try some new things. You never know if you might end up liking it. That could be food. That could be a place. That could be anything document your life you do not have to be a content creator you don't have to be good at shooting videos or taking pictures but have something to look back on for yourself or your loved ones i think i just might go back to the old school photo albums because being able to look back on good moments is priceless understand that life is truly a journey a lot of things might not make sense now or later or never but either way, nothing happens by coincidence or for no reason. Now, this is one of the things I really used to struggle with. 
but you can do it. Try to find a lesson or some type of positivity or takeaway from even your darkest moments. Try to find something to take away from it. Like, you know what, this is what I learned or this is what I'm not comprehending why I keep going through this. Now, this could go for people who don't, it, do, it could go for people who don't have children or don't even plan to have children, but I strongly urge you to consider therapy if you are a parent or a soon-to-be parent or you want children, any of the, anything of that sort, just to be sure that you're not carrying on any childhood trauma onto how you operate with your kids. That's it. That's all I have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for tuning in to chill and sit with me and listen to my TED talk and my two cents. And I will see y'all in the next video. Comment what y'all would like to see and make sure that you're subscribed.